Hey, welcome back to Velox 18. <laughs> my wife's over there making fun of my A. Um, I'm trying to leave the house. Uh, it's time to get, get trucking. Uh, we've been home for about 44 hours. So, um, you know, depending on how you look at it, that's either a long time, 10 hours more than a 34 hour reset, um, or it's not a long time. And uh, I didn't really get a full weekend because we're leaving out on Sunday afternoon. And uh, we got to go get over into Virginia. So uh, it's time to go trucking. I'm going to hop in this uh, truck, bobtail back over to the trailer, hook up to it from the drop lot, and then uh, we'll be on our way. I will catch up with you guys over there. First, we got to roll the music. Roll the music. <laughs> We, uh, we got a, a little back road we got to take here to get over to the drop lot where I put the trailer. And uh, always a little fun going down this road, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're looking at getting into trucking, uh, a lot of times all you get at home is a 34 hour break. Um, and the reason why you get 34 hours is because that's how long the uh, uh, FMCSA, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Association, uh, deems or administration, yeah, administration. Uh, that's how that's how long they deem uh, that you that you need to be uh, that you need to have off until you can get a fresh. Uh, set of hours for your for your uh, weekly logbook. So uh, that's why 34 is kind of a magic number, and um, so a lot of people, a lot if you're uh, running for Omega, they'll send you home, but it's only for 34 hours. Then you better be back in that truck, putting down some miles. So uh, obviously, once you own the truck like I do. I don't take just 34 off anymore. Uh, although with the market being the way it is, maybe uh, maybe that's the way uh, you know you got to hustle. You know, uh, other guys who own their own authorities, some of them they'll go, they'll stay out for three weeks at a time, and they'll just run what they call recap hours, where you you never take a 34 hours off. Uh, you just work uh, on a rolling clock. So. 70 hours add up over eight days and as long as you stay under 70 hours uh, of on-duty time across that eight days when you get to the ninth day the first day falls off and now you can kind of so basically you can run about uh, you know eight hours a day and uh, so a lot of guys will do that you know they just keep it uh, you know they run seven days a week for a few weeks in a row and that's just kind of how they kind of how they roll uh, they, uh, they they never work super long days um, and uh, but they don't ever get a reset in either so anyway so that's kind of the the magic of the 34 hour reset some guys use it often um, every week to, to kind of go home and have a weekend some guys take a full weekend you know they'll They'll be, they'll be done with their week on Friday and they won't start again until Monday. Other guys, you know, they'll run for 14 days straight, 12, 14 days straight, and they'll just run on recap hours over that time. Uh, and then, um, and then uh, they go home, you know, and so, a lot of those guys, they'll take like five or six days off after they work 14 to 20 days straight. So, uh, yeah, it all depends on how you want to run. That's kind of the beauty of uh, trucking. Once you get into the position I'm in, it, it, it kind of, you, you're in charge, man. You're in charge. Not so much about how much you make on the rates. I mean, you can negotiate that and you can go out and try and get your own customers, but uh, if you're running the spot market like me, you don't have control over how much you're making, but you do have control over how many, how many days you work, how many miles you put down, you know, what loads you're grabbing. 
uh, all that stuff. So, anywho, uh, I will uh, make this uh, left hand turn on the Big Springs Road and uh, shoot, man, we'll be on our way. I'll catch up with you guys when we get to that uh, drop lot right by the Lowe's. All right, we got here to the drop lot. And, uh, well, it's not really a drop lot, I guess, because uh, they, don't, they don't like it that I use my QR code to scan out, and then I try to scan back in, and they say it should work, like at both times that I've done this, um, the uh, the customer service person comes back and says, "Well, it should work until your expiration date. Are you sure you you know you might have to pay for an extra day?" And I was like, "No, that's that's not that's not what it was. <laughs> that's not like I'm I'm paid up, but uh, I think it just they don't like it to uh, to be like that. So." It is uh, just one of them things, man. Just one of them things. I thought I parked it on this aisle, but I guess, yeah, it's the next one. I was like, looking for my trailer for a second, like, hey, what the heck just happened? But, uh, there it is. Looking good. All right, I'll uh, catch up with you guys uh, once we get hooked up to this thing and get going. All right, and they had to uh, grant me special access just to get out again. Had to call them and have them. Uh, had to call them and have them give me the uh, the give me the uh, open the gate for me. And you gotta like give them your your code number and your name and your phone number and all that stuff but it's all good um, it is uh, just after 4 30 and we are going to grab some fuel um, right here uh, probably in in Murfreesboro before we leave and uh, oof. and uh, yeah we'll grab some at the pilot over there and uh, and then we'll and then we'll hit the road and then we'll really hit the road all right sound good sound like a plan stand all right cool all right I'll catch up the guys down the road Tennessee not Lebanon Lebanon and um, decided to get fuel over here so we got fuel it is 5 30 p.m. and uh, we're gonna keep on heading east we'll get into the eastern time zone before we know it uh, that's one thing I didn't calculate when I was thinking about going there but it's all good we're gonna end up doing a sleeper birth split anyway so as long as I get three hours off I'll be able to continue my drive and uh, and then do my seven hours um, later on tomorrow. So that's gonna be the plan. We deliver tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and then we del deliver like four and a half hours north into Pennsylvania the following morning at 5 a.m. So we got plenty of time to like, you know, work out our logbook issues. Uh, but as it is now, I just wanna get there and uh, be able to get some sleep. So, um, not really a truck stop near this uh, Spartan Nash in Bluefield, Virginia. Um, there is a Walmart Supercenter, and because I have such an early appointment, I'm tempted just to show up there 
and then shut it down and then wake up at you know 4 30 in the morning or whatever time i have to wake up to get over there and uh and make a run for um for spartan nash in the morning um but the last couple walmart experiences i've had they've tried to keep drivers out <laughs> and not let them sleep uh in their parking lots so um that policy is changing um so anyway we'll see but I'm going to get back on the road and uh, shoot. I don't know. I'll just catch up with you guys down the road. We don't need to do any more fast motion. That was fun, though. That was fun. Uh, we got some rainy weather and stuff. So, um, yeah. So it's just dark and kind of rainy and nothing much to see. Nothing to see here. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'll catch up with you guys later. We found ourselves a little bit of fog. Uh, we're... Uh, where are we at? I don't know. Just up the hill up here, like uh, by Crossville and all that. Oh, we came out of it. I think we're going to go back into it. We just crested that little hill and I feel like that. We were good. But anyway, find a little bit of fog on our drive here. We're taking it easy. Taking it easy. Uh, it's not too thick. Barely noteworthy, but you know. On a on a short-ish drive at night, you know you got to find the interesting things to talk about when you can. <laughs> you got to find them when you, when you got them. Uh, man, what's it called up there uh, on 80? Kind of when you climb up the hill there, and I forget forget what it's called at the top of the hill. Like I know it, it's just slipping my mind right now. But. Uh, Kind of between Crossville and Cookville, like up that direction. I forget what they call it up on top, but Monterey. That's that's where I'm at, Monterey. I, that's why I was like, I know that it's. Cause I remember thinking like, oh, that's a kind of a weird. Uh, like, I know, I know of Monterey in California, and then there's a Monterey in Mexico. I never knew there was a Monterey in Tennessee. Here we are. Monterey. Anyway. Uh, yes, we got a little bit of a little bit of foggy. A little bit of fog fog up here, but I don't think it's uh, anything that we're gonna have to worry about. If it gets real thick, I might think about uh, pulling over and waiting it out, but I don't think it's gonna get me thicker than this. I think this is all, this is the worst of it. But uh, I don't like driving new roads at night uh, in, in, in weather. Like, just uh, not a, um, not a good, not a good recipe to say, to, to drive on roads that you have no familiarity with. And I mean, I've been out this way a couple times now, out 40, and then I'll hit 81 and go up into Virginia, but, uh, you know, it's still not, like, I, I've gone this route a lot less than I've gone, you know, like, up 24, up 65, uh, you know, those, those way, that's, that's my typical route. So, anyway. But it's clearing up. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Keep on trucking. All right. We're rolling through Bristol, Kingsport, Bristol, Tennessee. Home of uh, Bristol Motor Speedway, right? Not a, uh, not a big NASCAR guy myself. I know I'm, I'm out of place a little bit. I'm out of place a little bit, but you know, I'm a big football guy, so I fit in. I fit in with that. Speaking of which, man, Georgia put a hurting on uh, Tennessee. But I actually think that might have been the best thing for Tennessee to get that loss out of the way. And now they probably don't have to go and play in the uh, SEC championship game. 
where they might lose again to like Alabama or something. So I think they have a better chance at the playoff because they lost than uh, than if they didn't. So. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. That's their little slogan. All right. Bristol, Virginia. So Bristol is uh, part of both Tennessee and Virginia, right? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. But uh, we got about 70-something miles to go before we grab uh, 77 North. And uh, we'll actually go up into West Virginia for like, I don't know, a brief moment. And then uh, we'll be right back into Virginia into uh, Bluefield. In fact, look at the map, map. It actually looks like Bluefield does the same thing that Bristol does down here. Bluefield is partly in uh, West Virginia and partly in Virginia. So, I don't know. Y'all are weird. I don't know why you guys can't just come up with a new name. You're going to be across state lines. You just be a different city. Different name. I don't know why you don't. It's weird. The South is weird. Alright. Uh, I was just thinking to myself. It's like in uh, California. You got Calexico and then you got Mexicali. Right? It's different names. Different sides of the border. I don't know. Anyway, alright. Uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys down the road. We're in Virginia. miles away from Bluefield, Virginia. We're on Interstate 77, heading north, and uh, there, I believe there's a rest area coming up. I might try to check out the rest area instead of trying to go to that Walmart. like there's parking. Cool. We're about 20 minutes away. 25 minutes away from the uh, from the uh, Spartan Nash facility. So we'll be able to get in here. We'll shut down for about five hours and then uh, we'll go and make our delivery um, and then uh, we'll have to trucks, buses to the right. Um, so anyway, we'll take five hours off now, and then tomorrow we'll do seven hours in the sleeper berth at some point. It would have been nice to have gotten uh, the seven hours in the sleeper berth now. That would have had to leave a couple hours earlier. Well, I didn't want to do that. And I knew the majority of my time, the majority of my like time on this, uh, on these deliveries is, um, uh, let's see, is there more parking up here? Yeah. I was, I was thinking so. Let's go find somewhere where we're a little more alone. I think we're alone now. Anyway, um, so, so yeah, so that's the, uh, so that's the, the, the plan is five hours here and then, um, and then, uh, tomorrow after we make our delivery, we're going to have plenty of time. After we make the delivery, we got just four and a half hours to go. 
to make it up to um, the next delivery the following morning so we should be able to uh, we should be able to make make that happen and um, yeah so we made it here all right all right all right this is where we're gonna call it tonight this is where we call it a night folks We're over here we got the we got the forest over there behind us wonder what kind of scary creatures are lurking out there I don't know but I don't want to find out get in the truck all right love you guys peace out see you on the next load I forgot I still need to make my bed that's terrible it's terrible it's too late to be making the bed especially back there in that little flat top <laughs> it's it's uh it's an adventure trying to be six one and making a bed in a uh in a flat top sleeper but uh gotta do what we gotta do to get some z's up in here all right uh love you guys peace out see you on the next load i already said that i mean it this time though for real love you guys peace out not on the next load though it's still gonna be this load but it'll be the next you know what i mean that's like my little end phrase see you on the next load but uh i've been doing a lot more multi-day loads back in the day i used to just do a load a day pretty much so pretty much see you on the next load was always the way it was going to be but not anymore not anymore we've had this load on there since stinking we the first part of it got loaded on thursday thursday afternoon all right for real though i'll see you guys uh, on the next one